I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Network. My goodness, we're going to talk about Elizabeth Warren's penis. Wait, does she have a penis? She might have a penis. Oh, well, she made some interesting comments about something that I believe that exactly this many people, zero, zilch, nada, out of there, less than zero people ever said to her. But she made an insane comment about the fact that uh, she was literally told by somebody they sauntered up to her and said, excuse me, uh, Elizabeth Warren, I love you. If you had a penis, I'd vote for you. Uh, now, tell me, do you believe that you would, uh, number one, ever walk up to another woman and say, you know, if you had a penis, if you had a dick, I'd vote for you. Do you think you'd ever walk up and say that to anybody? Anybody. Elizabeth Warren. No. I wouldn't want to walk up to Elizabeth Warren. Oh, wow. So, Elizabeth Warren uh, told this story that it seems that people are in quite agreement that nobody believes. About the fact that she was once told that if she had a penis, that uh, that they would vote for her. A, a voter would vote for her. Uh, I've said penis I don't know how many times in this video already, and we're not even to the story. Will this video be monetized? I don't know. Daily Wire, in today's Democratic Party, how do we know she doesn't? Senator Ted Cruz of my great state of Tejas. Cruz mocks Elizabeth Warren's alleged penile story. That's right. Penile power for the win. Senator Ted Cruz mocked Massachusetts Democratic Senator and former presidential candidate, we use that term loosely, Elizabeth Warren, after she, after a new book, claimed that following her third place finish in the 2020 Iowa caucus, she complained, quote, everyone comes up to me and says, quote, I would vote for you if you had a penis. Penis, 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 penis. NBC News correspondent Ali Vitali, I guess that's how you say it, who cares, states in her new book, quote, electable, why America hasn't put a woman in the White House yet, end quote. That's the name of the book. Oh, maybe because of people like Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> that Warren complained to her on a plane following Iowa caucuses. Cruz ridiculed Warren on Saturday at the 7th Annual Basquick Fry in Gardnerville, Nevada, as he said, quote, We need courage responding to crazy town. I don't know if you saw this this week. Elizabeth Warren told reporters that a guy came up to her and said, quote, I would have voted for you if you only had a penis. Wow. He was probably like, I would sleep with you if you only had a penis. Quote, now, let me say two things about that, Cruz declared. Number one, that story is a lie. Yeah, I, I think we all believe it is. Um, uh, it has the odorous effect of what we like to refer to as horse shit. Produce this fictional person because this human being does not exist. You know what also does not exist in this dojo? Elizabeth Warren's uh, alleged Native American heritage. Referencing Warren's infamous past assertion that she had Cherokee blood when a DNA test later revealed her to be between 164th and 1024th Native American. <laughs> Cruz asserted of Warren's supposed claim in Vitaly's book, quote, that is not even 1 1,000th of 24 true. In 1986, Warren claimed that she was, quote, a Native American on a registration card for the state bar of Texas. Texas? Te 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 right there. There it is right there. American Indian. Wow. Okay. That that seems that seems kind of like uh, laced with horse shittery. Vox wrote in 2018 that Warren had, quote, consistently stated that her mother is part Cherokee. Cruz segue to the current agenda of the Democratic Party as he quipped about Warren's penis story. Quote, but number two, in today's Democratic Party, how do we know she doesn't? How could you possibly know? My name is Elizabeth. 
Call me Bob. This is my beer. He's right about that. He added in a side that referred to transgender university pen swimmer Leah Thomas, somebody we have chronicled at great length over on Black and White Sports, who dominated women in NC2A events. Quote, by the way, most Americans know this is ridiculous. Leah Thomas is a dude. He looks like Michael Phelps and has arms longer than anyone else. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, there's actual video of this. Go for it, Tedley. We need courage. We need courage responding to crazy chat. I don't know if you saw this week. Elizabeth Warren told reporters that a guy came up to her and said, I would have voted for you. If only you had a penis. Oh, <laughs> now let me say two things about that. Number one, that story is a lie. Yes, Produce this fictional person because this human being does not exist. That is not even one 1,024th truth. <laughs> but number two, in today's Democrat Party, how do we know she doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. Ted said, thank you, thank you, I'll be here all night. After the news of Warren's DNA results broke, Cherokee Nation Secretary of State Chuck Hostin Jr. issued a statement, quote, using a DNA test, to lay claim to any connection to the Cherokee Nation or any tribal nation, even vaguely, is inappropriate and wrong. It makes a mockery out of DNA tests and its legitimate uses, while also dishonoring legitimate tribal governments and their her- uh, citizens whose ancestors are well documented and whose heritage is proven. So, yeah, I mean, look, I, I got to be real with you. Uh, in today's Democratic Party, if Elizabeth Warren was a chick with a D, um, she would probably be more brave, stunning, and courageously celebrated. Let's be real. That's where these progressive, radical nut jobs have went to. The crazier you are, the weirder you are, uh, the more of a possible mental case you are, uh, the bigger hero. She would at least be more widely celebrated in the media. Uh, I can't help but think about her walking across that lawn after she finds out Roe versus Wade's going to be overturned and she's all mm, furious, she kind of looked like a lesbian then. Just saying. Um, had had a little leanings of somebody that might, might be more of a same-sex, you know, situation going on. Yeah. She's like, man, mm, I wish I had a penis now. I might get this overturned in the other direction. Oh, God. This is where we're at. She's telling stories. She knows the media will run with this. She knows that the media will be sympathetic to her cause. The media can point to this. Oh, Elizabeth Warren has been done so wrong because of sexism. I'm going to give you a little secret here. A little secret. A little peel back the curtain action. Okay, you just take some former relationships I've ever had with some ladies And discussing politics over the years, I will tell you what a lot of the women have in common. All of them have said they would never vote for a woman for president. I'm just letting you know. Honestly, if the right candidate came along, I would have no problems voting for a woman. But isn't that interesting that so many women I've ever met have said I would never vote for another woman? Too emotional when it comes to making important decisions. I didn't say it. They did. And I'm not talking about just one person. I could guesstimate it was probably over four, five, six, maybe. I've heard that a lot. I heard it around the office during banter. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, And so I think Elizabeth Warren sort of implies here that maybe it's men coming up to her and saying that men don't want to vote for a woman. I don't think that's necessarily true. I think there's a lot of women that wouldn't want to vote for a woman. 
Oh, you're not supposed to say that out loud. I think that is a thing. I do. I believe it. Uh, do I believe Elizabeth Warren's story about uh, about somebody saying if she had a penis, they would vote for her? No, I don't believe that. I, I, I don't believe anybody is going to walk up and literally say that to somebody. And she is claiming many people have wa- uh, walked up to her and said it. Now, I don't know. She's a Democrat and she's been around a lot of kooks at rallies. It's possible that people are just running up to her being like, penis, 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 penis. Vote, 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 vote. I I just don't buy that. I don't. Leave it to Ted Cruz to call her out on it. Good job, Ted. Yeah. Uh, So, we'll find out if this video can be monetized or if it is going to end up being a free video on Rumble and on the website. Because I said penis about 1,900 times in this video. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Hey, hey.